Hello YouTube and welcome to your fifth Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you the if statement. Now if you know the if statement in any, in any other language then this is going to be pretty easy for you. But you can see here there's a little switch up and things. I'm not using my PC, I'm using my Mac this time. Um, yeah, everything's going to work the same. Just follow the code like you normally would. So um, here we, have, we can see what the program's going to do and then I'll show you how to make it. So it says, would you like to know my name? And if I press yes, it says, my name is iMac. And then if I run it again, and it says, would you like to know my name? If I type in anything else, it says, go die. So let's go ahead and get started. And you can see right here, I'm censoring this out so that you can't see the code before we get started. Okay, and the box is magically gone. So. You can see I went ahead and I made my main method and I imported java.util.scanner, uh, which you should do, which you should have done by now. So let's go ahead and create a string, a variable string, and we'll call it user answer string. So uh, this is what we're going to store whatever the user types in. This is what the variable we're going to store it in. So then we'll do system dot out dot print. And then we'll say, would you like to know my name? And we'll leave a space. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have them type in their answer. So we just do scanner user ants equals new scanner system dot in, which you should be familiar with by now. So now what we want to do is we want to make an if statement to test whatever, whatever they wrote in. So if they wrote in this, then do this code. So we're going to start off by putting whatever they typed in in the variable string, user answer string, because we want it to be stored in a string type and not a scanner. So we'll set user ants string equals user ants dot next line so basically what this is going to do is it's going to take everything that the user typed in in the scanner user ants uh, by using next line it gets everything and it's a string so by by setting user ants string equal to user ants dot next line it's going to take everything the user types in and stores it as the string user ants string um, that's what you need to do before we can test this and do it a certain way so, now we're going to start the if statement. So type in if, which is pretty simple. That's how you start one. And then inside the parentheses, you're going to, you're going to type the thing that you're going to test. So if user ants string is equal to something, then do this. So if user ants string dot equals yes, then we're going to do this code in here. So system dot out dot print line my name is I Mac. So if they typed in yes, then it's going to do this code right here. And um, but since Java is a case sensitive language, if they type in something like lowercase y, lowercase e, capital S, then it's not going to work. So what we want to do to get around this is just instead of equals, we're going to type equals ignore case. So now they can type in yes anywhere they want and it'll still work. And now what I'm going to teach you is another part of the if statement called else. It's kind of like a default option if whatever is in the if statement does not work. So if user ant string is not equal to yes and it's equal to something else, then we're just going to do system dot out dot print line go die and you always want to semicolon outside of the parentheses or else you'll get an error but um now when we run this you'll see that would you like to know my name yes my name is iMac and then would you like to know my name no go die so that's pretty much the basics of if statements and um I'll leave you with one more thing before we go. 
Um, so basically what we started, we started by declaring a string, user ant string, pretty simple. Then we asked them if they'd like to know my name by using systemout.print. And then we created a scanner object called user ants. So whatever they type in is going to be stored in the scanner object user ants. And then we set our string equal to whatever they typed in by using user ants.nextline, which just gets everything that the user typed in into that scanner and stores it as a string. And then we started our if statement. So if user ant string dot equals ignore case, so it doesn't matter how they type yes, it can be capital Y, lowercase e, lowercase f, uh, s, anything, as long as it's equal to the, these three um, characters, y, e, s, then it's going to do system.out.println. My name is iMac. But if they type anything else other than yes, then it's going to do system.out.println go die. And um, one thing that you have to remember when making an if statement, if you're only going to have one line of code like I do right here, I only have one line, you don't have to use any curly braces. But if you're doing multiple lines of code inside of your if statement, then you have to put curly braces around it. You can do this if you only have one line, but it's not necessary. So um, go ahead, look at this code, go make a couple programs for yourself, um, and then once you know it, move on to the next tutorial. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.